Okay, everyone. Now we're going to move into coloring. We got a we got a nice drawing. We talked about color a little, and now we're just going to start coloring. And uh, so with color, uh, you want to keep in mind uh, large to small is 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 ideal. So you want to start with the largest shapes, the masses of color. You know, so we have a massive sky color, we have a mass of ground color, and we're pretty much going to have a mass of character color. Um, and we're going to keep these masses separate. Well, not not necessarily. More we keep the light mass separate from the shadow mass. We have these two distinct worlds we want. We want a light world and a shadow world, and and the two do not touch because if light is cast on the shadow world, it becomes the light world. If if light is removed from the light world, it becomes the shadow world. And there is no middle ground. There is no, you know, no color sh exists in both these worlds. If you have a red color with a light on, it's in the light world. If you have just have that red color in the shadow, it's in the shadow world. And and keeping those things separate is is massing values, and it that's how a picture holds together. Uh, with grouped values, massed values, and and because value really shows form, and we're gonna get into that. I'll, I'll I'll try to I'll try not to ramble too much, but there's a whole lot going on with color. <laughs> so right now we're just blocking in um, the main main colors and textures. So this she's on a sandy ground with the direct sun on it, so it's really high value. So see up there in the color palette, it's everything is 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 past the 50% mark, you know, everything is, and now I, I gotta look at some more sand, I gotta see, make sure I'm, make sure I'm, I'm doing this right, I right? just check it out and make sure that it's light enough, the sky is the right value, so here we're gonna review the reference and the type of lighting, you know, this is the lighting situation, remember this, this, this white direct light from the side and, and nice light in the shadow, nice color in the shadows and or just try to keep that in mind. Keep this in mind. This, you know, high contrast light. Two distinct worlds: the light world, the shadow world. Um, nice rim lighting, and and we're really doing that because it's it looks great, and it's it's one of the simpler lighting situations we can use. And uh, <clears throat> just keep blocking it in. Now we're gonna move into the shadow. Right, and this is the shadow color. It's a dark, warm color because it, it's the shadow cast by a figure on sand on a bright sunny day, and it's gonna be a warm color. You know, it's reflecting. It's gonna have a little reflected light from the sky in it, but there's so much just warm light radiating all around that that it's gonna stay warm. That shadow down there. And notice the value. If you squint down, you know, you got a clear delineation between the light and the shadow. The light value, shadow value. And here we're going to start popping in the darks, dark accents below the feet. And in general, we're, we're painting, you know, from back to front. So, so we paint things that are behind other things. You know, like here's this big shadow cast by the tail. And, you know, we'll clean up that edge later when we come in and paint the dragon's tail. But for now, you know, we're blocking in the main forms and the main gradations of color. You know, the main light and darks. And that's all we're doing. We're going to block in the lights and darks. And here, you know, this is, you know, and that, and that shadow there, it, it's about as dark as we go. You see, it's close to black. It's not quite black. But it's gonna just read as as such a dark color that it's it's basically black. Let's see, pull up this ref. We're gonna start. We're gonna keep. You know, we're keeping the 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 color situation in mind, the lighting scheme in mind. But we're gonna start. You know, uh, the colors are gonna change because we're gonna. You know, we're gonna think about it more. That sketch was quick, and and we're gonna spend a lot longer on 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 getting these colors right. So we're blocking in this this big tail, right? The the sun is coming from the top left behind everything. So you know, we're looking at basically the shadow side of this big tail. So we want to be sure that it stands out against the sky. You know. It's a shadow side, so it's going to be darker against that blue sky. You squint down, and it's it's clearly darker, and that's 
keeping that, that relationship is important. That's what really makes a solid image because it, it's not copying reality, but it's mimicking reality. It's mimicking the appearance of reality as best we can, you know, as best we can, as quickly as we can, and uh, well, as simply as we can, too. All right, so this is a good color. We got just a blocked in color. And we'll start to throw a little texture, you know, just a little texture indicate that, you know, it's not a it's not a smooth surface, it's like a scaly, some kind of surface. And there's bounce light from the ground. And here we're going to have some bounce light from the sky. And this is, you know, this is still in shadow, but uh, that's reflective light. That's the only light coming into this is, is, you know, it's not direct sunlight, but it's all the reflected light of the sky being shown in the tops of forms and all the reflected light from the ground. You know, the ground is like a giant orange, yellow, light source you know the sun is shining down but this ground is shining all that sun right back up and so that's why you see like uh, in the underside of this tail you're gonna have that strong reflected light and then as you get into that shadow it's it's really it's warm light bouncing itself back and forth and so that's why you know those shadows are warm those shadows are hot you know you're out in the desert it's a hot sunny day and you show that by by color. You know, you show that kind of thing with color, not with line. So here I'm just adding details. Uh, you know, some kind of dinosaur tail, so it's got to have some kind of texture uh, implied. And that's all I'm doing, you know, implying the texture, just like those bracelets. This, this form's going back, this form's coming forward. See how those circles you know, they're going two different ways. One side of this is, is going back, the other side's coming forward and trying to show that that roundness, you know, and, and we, we're going to do that with value and with color. Where value, you know, value turns forms. By putting this little shadow, you know, a little darker on the bottom, it's starting to read like a, you know, a, a big cylindrical tail. And, uh, you know, once we blocked it in, see how if you squint, you know, everything I'm adding it's just it's it's variations of value within that big valued shape we have but you know nothing in that shadow is going to get up here by 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 the by the light values you know nothing in the shadow side of that tail is going to be that light it's going to stay in the in the world it lives in now we're going to start just blocking in this is just indicating so that you know so I don't forget that the light's coming from the top left behind everything and it's only catching the tops, you know, it's really rim lighting, it's really back lighting. So we're gonna keep blocking in color and in the next lesson we're gonna gonna keep doing what we're doing and and we wanna keep blocking things in and not getting too concerned with detail yet. This is, is the block in color phase. But here it helps to just indicate that, you know, what that surface is. It's going to start getting reflective. It's going to start getting textured. But I'm not too concerned with it yet, with details yet, because, you know, we're going to go over that a couple of times still. We're going to add layers and layers of texture to, to, to just keep making it look more like what we want it to look like, which is, you know, like a scaly dragon tail. So here, just indicating where the highlight's going to be hitting. Not really highlight. It, it, it is just direct light, but we're, since we're looking at it, it's backlight. It, it starts to look like a highlight because it's so bright. And kick in a little warmer so that that's not just, those aren't just black, giant black spikes there, you know. A little colored, a little textured. All right.